Hello, my name is Martin Sykes. I've been a chief architect in one form or another for nearly 20 years now. And in that time, I'm often asked the question, how do we make the IT estate simpler? And one of the challenges there is of can we rationalize it? The IT estate has grown too large over time. It's easy to do when you've got to make those quick decisions, when you have to put an application in quickly to make change for the business, or when things get implemented for the short term, but end up for the long term. What you end up with is something I'm sure many of you have seen, perhaps a spaghetti diagram. A large poster on the wall with two to three hundred boxes all connected together in a myriad of ways that you look at and you think, there's no way we're ever going to unpick this mess. So with the application portfolio dashboard we're showing here, this is the starting point for being able to work out what it is we might be able to simplify in our estate. Now this dashboard is new. It comes on the strategic portfolio management module with iServer. And what it gives us is a way to really look at the data quickly that's been captured across iServer so that we can start to understand where our opportunities exist. It's only going to be useful if you've got all the right data in iServer in the first place. And that's one of the key aspects to consider when doing a rationalization activity. You've got to have the list of all the different applications. Now they can be imported from your CMDB directly into iServer if you haven't already got that. And with that sort of information, you can bring in usage counts and deployment numbers as well. There are many other data sets we can have across the organization that may be keyed against application names or technology that we might also want to import. We can also bring into the organization uh, the information from surveys, from user surveys about business fit, technical fit, usability of the systems, and we'll see those on some of the dashboards later. But all this information gives us a baseline to start looking at the application portfolio and understanding where we might drill in. Now in no simple exercise are you going to be able to rationalize an IT estate. This is a long and complicated piece of work to understand how all the different moving parts we have today can be reconfigured without breaking our organization. But the first step is to work out where to do the analysis because nobody wants to get started trying to do the same in-depth review of everything that we have. There has to be some places we can go quickly and de-scope or reduce the complexity within them to be able to get this work underway. So if we start here with this application portfolio review, I can start by filtering on types of applications uh, or by looking at where they live in the organization, by cost, or by our current plans for the future. Uh, for example, what are we going to eliminate? Where are we investing? Or by the life cycle state for them. This is the highest level view that allows us to pick where we want to drill in. And one of the most common ways to drill in is by business capability. Because what we want to find are those capabilities where we have high numbers of applications serving the same capability. So the key question you have to ask there is why? Why do we need that amount of variety for what should be the same thing in the organization? So one of the dashboards to start with would also be the application merge opportunity dashboard specifically created to allow us to look at a capability view and drill into the capabilities and see which applications are relevant to those capabilities. And additional filters we have on here, we can look at the date range for retirement, for example, and be able to pull out just those applications we're looking at for the long term or the short term and the complexity of the application. And this can be a measure that you developed internally. Here it's simply a range that we want to put in from something that is totally standalone through to something that is so tightly integrated into the estate, nobody's got a clear idea how they would be able to remove it. Somewhere in between is a decision point at which you say, this is easy enough for us to remove, or this is gonna take a lot of work for us to be able to deal with it. So here we could drill down on any of these capabilities keep going down through our organizational structure until we get to the point where we can say, right, I found a capability now that has too many applications in it, and we want to start refining those a little bit further. Or with the complexity filter, we have the opportunity for a range that we create ourselves in however we want to measure it. 
from the lowest level of complexity, a totally standalone application, all the way through to the highest level of complexity, something that is just so integrated into the estate, we really can't see how we're going to be able to remove it. Given those filters, we can then decide exactly what we want to focus on, and we can drill down through the capability stack to be able to find those capabilities that have a high number of applications with a complexity we believe is manageable for us to be able to work with and the sort of cost reduction opportunities or operational simplification opportunities that would make sense to drive rationalization. Another way to look at the applications would be by category and here different to capability we're looking at the different ways in which the software might be used in the organization so categorizing applications for example if they are part of an ERP type tool set or if it is for back office type activities this categorization is something we would have done when we've entered the application data in the first place but now we can start to pull it together and on this slide alone you can see we've got 49 different ERP solutions across the organization a ripe opportunity for rationalization. All of these are things that we may want to rationalize in the organization according to category or as the previous dashboard capability. Here you see what looks perhaps to be a slightly full bubble chart on the right hand side and in this particular case it's because we haven't filtered it down. What we're showing here are all of the different applications that we have for all categories. As soon as I click on any one of those categories on the left, that bubble chart on the right will be filtered to be able to show us what we have for that particular category. And also we have on here business fit and the technology fit for the organization. Rankings just from one to five in both cases, but where I mentioned right at the start, the opportunity to do a survey in the organization, this is just that sort of thing. We may have gone out and asked key people in our business, key users, to rate the systems that they use against how well they fit the functionality and the needs of the business or how well they fit the technology stack for the future organization. So let's be clear, this is not a technology department activity. This is one that might start within the IT organization to be able to list the areas where we have opportunity. But immediately we've got those we have to take it back to the business organizations to be able to ask them what is it that we can actually do with the technology stack we've got. What might seem a simple rationalization for the IT world could mean massive process change or people change on the business side. And we have to look at that whole picture. And that's where this next dashboard comes in because it allows us to bring in a lot of that business information into one view so we can take this conversation out and have it with people across the business. This one's called Application Business Quality because on the one page here we have many different views of the information about the business usage for the applications we're focused on. In the bubble chart on the left you'll see we continue with the business fit score but here we've changed it to have usability, which may be one of those scores that we've taken from our business users for these applications. The nature of these dashboards is such that if you don't want usability, but you want to measure against the ability to take that particular application to a mobile device, or for it to be available for customers or people in the field, all of that is possible, and you can change the ratings here to allow a different view on the data very easily. On the right hand side, we have views on the applications in that bubble chart that have the least number of users, the most number of users, the usage per week. All of those, again, can be adjusted. But if we're going to have a conversation now about how to simplify the estate, we're also looking at what sort of impact we're going to have with those recommendations. And if I was to look at something on here and say, it's got a very high number of users across a large part of the organization, but it's a very simple technology, that's not a simple fit to be able to say let's rationalize it because I'm going to have a significant impact on the organization by doing so. And all of those are factors that we need to bring together as well as understanding what sort of impact it will have on the rest of the portfolio. So that's why we have the detail on the bottom here. What are the business concepts and parts of the portfolio are related to what we're looking at. So this one page, whilst looking a little busy, is actually pulling all the information we need into one place to have a good conversation about the business impact of what we're recommending. 
So dashboards have been used so far in this example to allow us to drill into information that we already have and to understand the existing estate to make decisions. But once we've looked at what that decision could be, we record that information in iServer as well, and we have a dashboard particularly to view that, the application decision portfolio. And this one can be customized to bring any other information we need into it. But here we can see all the decisions that we've made about what applications we want to consider for rationalization. This is the sort of dashboard we can bring up at weekly status meetings to be able to show how the work that's followed on from this first analysis has now looked much more deeply and much more closely at the rationalization opportunity, what the cost will be for the IT organization as well as for the business and what sort of benefit we hope to get out of that rationalization. So that over time, this becomes the work list for the IT organization's architectural and business change efforts. So application rationalization is not easy. Adding a few dashboards to iServer is not some magic silver bullet that's going to make it easy overnight. But iServer has the ability to hold all the information you need to do great rationalization activities. And the dashboard surfaces that information very easily for the technically minded and the non-technically minded to be able to understand the context for technology, applications and the business so that we can really get down to what rationalization needs for the organization, a clear plan of activity, and a list that allows us to keep working our way through that activity over time. If you'd like to find out more, please contact iServer Consultant for your demonstration.